everyone, welcome back to another video of Raid of Shadows. We have got Demon Spawn 21 for you guys. Uh, I'm just going to go over the builds quickly and then I'll show you guys how I've done it. That will be on a 2 times speed. Uh, I did change my team up a little bit um, from what I cleared as. And not that one, sorry. Let's just get to Demon Spawn. The only difference between the two was I didn't I used Contractor the first time, who is a legendary void. This time we use Countless Licks in this in this re replay. Now I kind of feel that Countless Licks is a bit more accessible to everyone, um, especially with just the weekend just going past with the 150 shards, depending on who uh, wailed out for that event, etc. etc. Uh, so for any of you guys that just got Counter Licks, this is a good time to see a. Uh, in action so the champions that we did it with is I'm not gonna try and pronounce her name but she's fantastic a law unburied chances countless licks and blood twin now blood twin I went with accuracy defense speed reasonable HP and a reasonable resist as well now I use him in the spiders on hard doom tower so I really do pump up the accuracy just for that but you only need 220 accuracy much defense as possible a lot of speed uh, I always think the faster they can go that's better and then uh, just by using this as well now you could put him in stun set uh, I think the first time I cleared the fat churn I had him in stun set uh, however for the, the replay I just left him in this which is just basic gear he is fully booked. He is definitely worth the box if you don't have a champion like Ignatius. Now we have got War Master. If you're struggling with accuracy, then take Eagle Eye. But personally, I prefer War Master because it just makes it a little bit faster to kill the boss. So, defense ring, defense uh, necklace, and accuracy, speed boots, resist chest. You could go accuracy chest or defense chest here, and then defense gloves, and then you're just looking for accuracy and speed substats as well, and HP and defense substats do not hurt as well. So now he has got a nice aura as well of uh, 70 in all battles, so you can actually use his aura as well if you're struggling and you're trying to do this with level 50s. Uh, we do use one level 50, which is nice. Now countless licks comes in. Two meters massive here on the boss you'll see this and then this as well uh, I think the boss only gets one turn which is fantastic between him and law um, which is really good and then we have got just retribution and then accuracy down here now this is arena build so this is why I use an arena he can hit hard but again like I said in the guide just build him with good HP uh, reasonable defense, speed, and accuracy. That's how I build them as. Umbro, again, Umbro. You could do any type of build here. You could really push up a critical rate and then damage as well to get that, um, to get it to do some more damage. You just hit pretty hard. And then accuracy, defense, HP, and speed. That's what I go for personally. And then this is actually a different build. Uh, than I had for the boss uh, so the first time I cleared the the, the faction I had her in um, relentless it was fantastic for me it helped me clear the faction um, on the on the replay I kind of felt that a lot of people don't have as good a relentless as I do I totally understand that so I just put in my fastest speed set on her which was my after uh, speed gear uh, there is a, a, I do have a screenshot of the builds and I will put this on the end of the video so you can go and see that uh, that build that we was using again no mass uh, well hardly mass any masteries and then um, no books here so I didn't book her um, personally I don't think she needs books but you want good speed you want good HP you want obviously critical rate and you need accuracy as well so you could go accuracy chest here 
personally, I think for the run, I actually want the HP chest just for more survivability. And then again, just looking for the basics here. Uh, critical rate glove, speed. Then just coming across looking for speed, accuracy and critical rate really. That's how I build the law. And then this young lady, she's fantastic. Really recommend taking her up to a, a six star. But we used her in this type of gear. I think the only difference was we actually ran a HP chest here um, just for more survivability. But she is booked because I am planning to six star her in the future and no masteries. So she was like the main role I wanted her to do was to heal Umbro back up on the waves. And that's why I brought her in. I had a choice between her or um, Hate Flower. And I personally would choose her over Hate Flower. And obviously, we have that one role of Immortal as well. But as you'll see when we get to the boss, the boss doesn't get to turns. Uh, we will go over um, the boss mechanics in the play uh, when I'm playing the clip. And I will speed it up just to make it a bit faster for you guys. Uh, Please remember if you like this video, comment, like, subscribe really helps me and supports me make further content. Have a look at a little look on our Discord, join our Discord, come and visit me on Twitch and give me a follow on Twitter as well. And we'll jump over to the video now. So guys, this is a clip from one of my stream, uh, streams on Twitch. Uh, we're just going to go over the boss mechanics. This is the yellow boss. The two ads basically do heals, uh, one heals from half a million and one heals uh, one million HP. So that's a lot of heals. So make sure you CC in them heal uh, ads uh, and kill them as quick as possible. Um, and make sure you're uh, keeping an eye on them. Freeze, sleep and stun are the only ways you can CC them. Uh, Prevokes do not work. So Umbra and Blood Twin be a little bit useless there so you might want to think about stun sets etc um, and also you so every time you hit the boss there's a 20% chance that you'll get freezed uh, freeze sorry and uh, resist doesn't help you there um, AOE um, does a AOE for two turns it can be resisted okay and then you can, and then the A1 just attacks two random allies and app uh, applies uh, fear for two turns. Okay, uh, so that's the boss mechanics. As you can see here, we have dealt with the Valks quite easily, uh, not caused any problems. Lix brings us a lot of control, um, a lot of turn meter, and stuff like that. Uh, I do recommend getting Umbro in Lifesteal or an Immortal just to give her a little bit more healing up there, which would really be nice. Um, we do get a little bit lucky here, um, which the first time I cleared this faction, I did actually have her in Lifesteal. Um, I didn't change her build for this run, which was nice. Lix just give me a little bit more control over the waves and uh, a bit more CC, which really helped us. Now, Umbro doesn't really give you a lot when it comes to the boss, so I do recommend getting that Evil Eye just for that little bit more of the turn meter. And I also recommend uh, trying to save the Inkillable um, and the Prevokes for when the boss is about to take a turn. So if he does hit her, as you can see that she's low health here, she's Inkillable, she'll be fine. You want really to try and heal her back up much as you can. Um, you want to try to time the block uh, buffs as for the boss takes a turn as well so that'll stop the boss landing the debuffs and stopping us getting frozen as you can see he did we, he doesn't get a turn here because we've got so much turn meter between a law uh, the evil eye procs which is on uh, blood twin as well and um, and uh, leaks is a2 which takes down turn meter as well um, Gives us a lot of control so and then as I start kind of spamming that towards the end of the fight um, because I know that we can still get frozen and I really don't want a lord to get frozen she gets frozen a few times but she's fast enough to take a turn before the boss takes a turn now this faction is quite fairly easy if you do have someone like Duchess or a lord 
they're the two that you really need to have to make this faction easy you know if you don't have a law this faction then gets incredibly hard especially when you come up towards uh, the boss right so um, try and look out for uh, other term eater champions like Darblus for example who can also do the same kind of job um, but it's, it's not as well but can drop down a term eater give you a bit more CC you will need uh, high accuracy, high HP, uh, good speed, and probably a stun set as well because she has the AOEs, etc, etc. And then fully booked, but you can farm her. That's the great bit about her. She is farmable. Um, so as you can see, we're killing the boss very slowly. Umbro is very close to dying. It is a little bit scary. Uh, as long as we stop the boss taking a turn, we are fine. Uh, we're in control uh, the decrease speed is massive as well so if you can get a decrease speed on that helps really a lot uh, Felix Hayflower who is a login daily login can be really good for this boss and she brings heals on a raid one but I feel like when I would use that and testing that that she needed box and boy she needs a lot of box I will in future do a like a part two to this huge video um, using her however I will need a lot of books because she needs to land that decreased speed on that AOE to heal on her A1s which is a little bit annoying but it still is a great benefit if you don't have someone like a law or you need that healing for Umbro etc I do recommend going after Blood Twin he's a fantastic legend you can get him in a bazaar I think it takes about three months to get him He's fantastic in spiders as a tank and he's fantastic in uh, the bow spiders as well on Doomtar. So I still use him to this day quite a lot. So there we are, we're beating the boss. The synergy between Lix and Allure is fantastic, can't say anything else about that. I will post the builds on the end of this video of a law in my Arbiter's gear. Um, so please check that out at the end of the video. If you guys are stuck on a faction or need help in the factions, come see me on Twitch at Grim Reaper TV Raid. I would have loved to hang out with you guys and I will be very willing to help support people in there. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.